Kayla's going to share a word of testimony for us. Are you ready? You're ready. You're born ready, right? Oh my goodness. Did you see what she just brought up here? <laughs> Salvation is for the future right here. All right, guys, I don't know about you, but I'm excited for the things that Christ has done and the things that he's going to do in our lives. He's victorious in all that he does, and that's what my testimony is about, is the, victory, the victories he has done in my life. All right, so I'm going to start by giving you guys a little background about me. Okay, I'm 17 years old, and my life has been a crazy one. I grew up in a home that was falling apart from the time it began. My, my stepdad was an abusive drunk who, at the age of 21, shot himself in his head to end his life. That night, he barely survived. And, but that, that, punish, that thing did not go unpunished. You know, that, after that, he had severe headaches that caused him to, to have lashes of anger and go, go after our family. And we had problems from day in and day out with him. And my mother, even though this man caused so many problems for her children and for her, she stood beside him, and she still stands beside him today. So as I grew up in my home, you know, I always became accustomed to the life that they were living, you know? I thought that that was gonna be what Kaylee was gonna live. You know, that was gonna be a part of who I was. You know, and when I was eight years old, um, I was put in foster care because my parents got caught selling drugs from our home. Um, they, we were put there until their hearing, which was five months, five months later. Well, they, they got released five months later. We got returned to their care. And when we returned to our, their care, our lives changed dramatically. We, my mom lost her job. We were evicted from our home. And for the next two years, we struggled beyond belief. We moved from house to house. One time, we lived in a trailer that was no bigger than a size of one bedroom with eight people living in this one little trailer. And I remember that through all this, um, you know, I, I remember my mom would still stand by the man who ruined her children's life. And so, you know, as I grew up, I continued to believe that that was the life I was going to live. Until one time that I went to the Salvation Army um, Bible, um, Vacation Bible School. And when I went there, I was at the Prump Corps. And I only went because there was a promise to go to a water park at the end of the week. You know, that was the most exciting thing ever for me because I was 11 years old and, you know, how much better does it get than a water park? But it really wasn't the water park I had in mind. <laughs> but the, my, the point is, is that little did I know that that same week that I went, just to, you know, just to go and have fun for the end of that week, my, la my name would also be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I have, from that day forth, I have served God, but not without my own trials and tribulations. I have had the, I've had the loving support of my captains and my core family, and without them, I would not have been able to endure the life that I live today. My captains had taught us to be salt upon one another, to be accountable to each other, to teach us to walk in holiness and purity at all times. And even though my outlook on life had changed dramatically from that point, my family was exactly the same as the day it had been from the day I was born. My dad continued to sell drugs from our home and was put into jail for two months. And when he got out, he's on four years of probation, which he still serves today. My mom still stands by that man. I thank God every day for the mercy he's had on me because even though I'm not worthy and I continuously fail him, he, he loves me regardless. And today I am proud to say that I'm the first in three generations to graduate high school this year, this year, May 29th. I'm the first, I'm the first to go to college. And I'm the first in four generations of females in my family to not become pregnant between the ages of 15 and 17. God has saved me from a life of statistics and that I, and for that I will be proud to say and rejoice and be glad. Because even though sometimes I have went through, you know, hard times and struggles, God never gave me more than I can handle. Because even though sometimes I felt alone, and sometimes I didn't think I could do it, God gave me the strength to always get through it. He never made me feel that I could not step beyond that boundary and reach the people I needed to reach. And it says in his word that if I seek his face diligently, then my family will serve him too. And that to me is powerful. I have chosen 
to accept my calling in life, to serve God to my fullest. And the road is, it's gonna be tough, and it's gonna be hard, but that's part of life, right? Because we're Christians, and because we stand out from the rest, because we're supposed to be different, it's gonna be difficult. But you know what? Every second of it is worth more than what this world has to offer me. Because after all, God does not call the qualified, but he qualifies the called. Thank you. Thank you.